Hey guys, it's Vox here with another video, and welcome to the first episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. This is actually the second time, or is it the third time? No, I think it... No, I think this is the third time actually I've tried doing this series. Uh, the first time I did it with Justin, that didn't go out as well as I planned, so I decided, okay, maybe I'll try to do it on my own. I... it's not that it didn't work out. Also, this is very loud. Um, it's not that it didn't work out, I just didn't... I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it that. I, I gotta feel my Let's Plays, but I've been really excited to do this. I've been thinking, because I've been doing a lot of small Let's Plays lately, which is all nice and stuff, you know, that's fun. But I miss doing the Zelda Let's Plays, and I feel like that's what you guys enjoy too. My Majora's Mask Let's Play is by far my most popular, so I figured let's do another Zelda game. Let's, ju let's just do it. Uh, so a couple things about this series, you'll probably know just from this first video by clicking on it, that these episodes are going to be fairly long. Um... That's just because of the way I have it structured. If you don't like long videos, because I know a lot of people have suggested to me not to do long videos. Hold on, let's not start this yet. A lot of people have told me to do short videos, but for this series, I, I, I got my episodes planned. Mm -hmm. Okay, just there's so much that goes into this series, and I'm trying to make it as professional as possible, and I feel like longer episodes are really going to complement that. Uh, that's one thing to know. Second thing to know, I'm using the Wii U Pro Controller, so there's no need to worry about the whole touchscreen gamepad nonsense that's not going to be recorded. You'll be able to see everything that I see. Um, and lastly, this is going to be a 100% Let's Play. Now, I have not actually played this game in a couple years, maybe? Um, I played one, wait, wait, Wind Waker HD when it first came out. So, it was, uh, what, a couple years ago, maybe? So, since then, I haven't really played it. I do have a guide with me that I'm following along, and I have 100%ed it before, just not recently. I didn't practice this Let's Play, so we'll see how it goes. I feel like that'll be both entertaining and maybe kind of annoying at some times, but you know what? We'll do our best. So anyway, with that said, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna use the Pro Controller, and oh my god, I already have all these. Um, let's let's get rid of this one because this was really at the pirate ship. Erase. Um, actually, you can see here if I lied the last time I played it. That was 2013. What about the other ones? Uh, 2014. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Oh, but this one, like, this one I probably started, like, when the game first came out. And it just, um, <laughs> by the way, fun fact, I named myself Hero in that one because I was trying to do Hero Mode. And then at that point, I just gave up and I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Wait. Why can I? Oh, why can't I use the control stick here? Anyway, um, for those who don't know, Hero Mode basically is like a harder version of the game, uh, where you take you take twice as much damage, and do enemies take half? I don't I don't recall for exa uh, exactly what that is, but uh, here it is. You take double damage, and there there are no recovery hearts. Yeah, so I started the game doing that, and then I changed my mind. Like, you know what? No, <laughs> this is this is this is too annoying. It's mainly it's mainly the whole recovery heart thing, because that means the only way you can recover your HP is by like buying potions, and you can only have so many at a time, and it's just it's just annoying. Anyway, let's learn about this legend, shall we? Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. I would say that that picture's not a man, that's more, that's like more of like a beast, I have to say that. I mean, look how big he is. Anyway, with its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. How terrible. Those guys are dead, that's dark. Anyway, but then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. And he's got a triangle above his head. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land a light. Okay, sorry. Uh, pff, this boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. Okay, so this is what always confused me because the Hero of Time was the guy from Ocarina of Time. Uh, hold on. The boy's tail was passed down through generations until he became legend. So he's the one from Ocarina of Time. Got got that, but like the whole timeline thing, it's like I'm still confused. The, but then a day came when a fell wind began to blow from across the kingdom. I'm still confused as to when 
it, it, the great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. I'm still confused as to when, like, the whole thing gets drowned, when, like, the entire world gets drowned. I'm still kind of confused about that part. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. Sorry I'm having two conversations at once here. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. I just, I, I feel like these pauses serve for conversation times, even though I have to keep stopping. But the hero did not appear. That's so sad. So, pe it's just like, people were so hopeful. And then suddenly, like, everything's on fire, faced by an onslaught of evil. The people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. I have a great story about this game, by the way, but I'll say it after this. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. Mm-hmm. That's never usually a good idea, but you know what? What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. That has to be the most dramatic part, obviously. Anyway, the memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. Mm-hmm. I feel like some of these texts are taking longer than others. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they became of age. Hmm, foreshadowing much. I wonder if I'm gonna get green clothes because I'm of age. Clothed in green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. This is basically just telling me what to do. It's like, hey, when you get your green clothes, gotta find a sword. Which is, I guess, kind of a clear way of doing things. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. Mm-hmm. That's what they all say. All right. With that said, here we are in the beautiful Outset Island. Uh, the GameCube version, which came out in 2002, it was still pretty beautiful, and it still looks good to this day, but the HG version is just, like, so good. And this will be uploaded in 60fps, because I love 60fps, and uh, this game is in 60fps. Uh, anyway, Big Brother! Big Brother! Fun, fun story, you know how she says oi? <laughs> Ever since like I started playing this game, I still use that as a greeting, mainly through text. And people are like, "Why are you saying oi?" It's like because it's amazing. And freaking Errol says it. I mean, if Errol says it, it's obviously amazing. Big brother. Of course, Link is sleeping. Link is sleeping at the beginning of most of the 3D Zeldas. Except, well, Majora's Mask. I know he's not. Is he in Twilight Princess? I don't remember the beginning of Twilight Princess. Anyway. I know definitely Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, in this game he is. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. Oh, aren't you special. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! Whoop, what? Oh, that means I get birthday presents. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Oh, poor Grandma. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Oh, I'm so glad I'm doing this Let's Play. Like, I I love playing this game. This is, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I've said many times in my videos, Majora's Mask is my favorite all-time game. Wind Waker is definitely my number two Zelda game, and it's definitely up there in the all-time favorite games too. It's just this is—it's just so beautiful, and it flows like the movement when you're playing the game. It just flows so great, especially on the Wii U version. Um, anyway, I have a story about this game uh, while we collect these rupees. So, um, when I was a kid, like little, maybe mm, ten years old, maybe between eight and eleven, I would say. No. Younger than 10. It was younger than 10. Maybe between like 7 and 10. I would get my hair cut at this place called Cool Cuts, right? And Cool Cuts, they, they're, they're cool, so they let you play video games while they cut your hair. And they were, they basically, I mean, they were all GameCube games. They had a GameCube at each of the cutting stations. And by the way, watch what I do here. If, if, if you're using this as a walkthrough, then pay attention to what I do, because I know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, they... They had GameCubes at all of the haircut stations, and this was mainly a kid's place, by the way. But I went there, and every single time, well, almost, every single time, I would play Wind Waker. 
Now, the thing is, I had Wind Waker at home, so I don't know why I would play it, but they always started from the beginning of the game. So every time I would get my hair cut, I would watch that opening cinematic, um, I, that pretty long opening cinematic, which is about half of my haircut. And then after that, I would just kind of roam around here. And get I would get as far as I could because even as a kid, I would love to like collect stuff and like try to get as far in Zelda games as I could. So I would like try to like, I guess, speed run. And you know, the more I did it, the more I just wanted to see how far I could get into the game um, in that, you know, 20 minutes or so. So that's a fun little story. Um, by the way, if you didn't notice, I just got 100 rupees, which is like a lot. So um, yeah, that's a little secret if you didn't know. Go under your house and you can get that. Uh, but we should go inside here. Also, quick note, um, I'm actually kind of sick right now. I have a bit of a cold, so if you notice my voice is a bit strange or weird, that's why. Uh, that'll probably be resolved but, I mean, by the end of the Let's Play, I'm sure. Anyway, here's a grandmother. Oh, she suddenly has clothing. I've been waiting for you, Link. Hi. Link. Try these out. Time suddenly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. I don't know what the voice says. I'm sorry. Anyway, you got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Well, you know what? That sucks, Link. Because you gotta wear them. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. Okay. In the, after this, I'm going to do something. In the olden days, this is one of the days boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But, but we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one who's being a violent asshole now. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> um... Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down for all those days. Link, why'd you just change it from your grandmother? Does all this make sense to you? At least it doesn't give you like a yes or no option like freaking K-Pora Gabora. Because that's always annoying. Anyway, isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly, a perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite you to the whole the town over for your birthday party. That That's a lot of invitations, Grandma. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to deal with, like, freaking, you know, Nancy over there and a couple doors down? Are you sure? You, I mean, you guys quarrel quite a bit. I, I don't want to be worried about that. Just just say it. Anyway, Grandma's going to make your favorite soup tonight. Mmm! <laughs> hey, don't be bragging about your own soup, Grandma. That's, that's, that's disrespectful. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, go get your sister, Errol. See, that's what she could have said. I mean, give us, she's like, put these clothes on, go get your sister Errol. Anyway, whatever. I guess we have to have some uh, exposition here. So, here's some pictures. Looks like Link took a selfie there. Was that added in the Wind Waker version, the selfie thing? Probably. Because I know you can take selfies in this game. Also, the camera's kind of inverted, but that's okay. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get something. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving you guys here. Well, I mean, I can still, hold on. Oh, okay. I'm back. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, this is a professional Let's Play, like, as far as, like, the content. But as far as me, I'm, I am treating this super casually. I'm just gonna have fun with this Let's Play, honestly. Because <laughs> this is just a fun game. I mean, I will be doing 100%, but, like, it'll be fun. Okay, I have currently Hyrule Historia here, okay? I want to look up the, the, uh, and tell you guys the whole, well, I'm not going to tell you guys the whole story, but this stupid, um, timeline thing, and how this relates to Ocarina of Time, mainly because I'm curious and I forgot, where's the, where's the table of contents? Um, 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 I really should edit this out. <laughs> I really should edit this out, but I don't, I don't really want to. Um, is it the... It's, oh, oh, it's probably here. 67. 60, 67. Uh, no, no, no. There it is. Okay. It's actually 69. Anyway. Okay. So what happens between Ocarina of Time and this game. Sorry, I think I just hit my mic. Anyway. So Ganondorf is sealed away. So Link wins in Ocarina of Time. Ganondorf is sealed away. And then Ganondorf is resurrected, of course. And then Hyrule is sealed and then flooded. But that's like thousands of years after. Okay, 
that didn't give us much context as I wanted, but it, it's I guess it's important to know that this is part of the timeline, the branch of the timeline where Ganondorf does um, get sealed away. Um, what's this guy doing? I just I saw a wild a wild pig. Oh, see, look, the black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Link? Now, you can't just run up to it. No, pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just go jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold his yard to crouch and tilt L to crawl slowly behind it. Slowly. You can also distract it with bait, I guess. Okay, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> These voices. I have not done voices in a long time, and I'm really having fun with it. All right, let's get this pig over here. So this is part of a basically small introductory side quest. We don't actually get anything important from it, but yeah, it's worth doing. All right, so we go up to the pig and then pick up. Oh no, pick up. There we go. And we got the pig. All right, so now we gotta take this to his wife. Oh, freaking no! No, 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 no! Oh my God, what is wrong with you, you stupid? I I can't I I can't believe you've done this. There we go. Okay, that stupid brain guy is literally the worst thing ever. Okay, anyway, let's continue on. We gotta keep um, an eye out for that pig. Uh, so if we bring this to his wife, uh, which is this, this lady here, and she's like, ooh, why did you bring me that little pig all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you, thank you so, whatever. Um, basically what we get here is a red rupee, which is 20 rupees, which is not bad. Um, I mean, 20 rupees is definitely good, especially in this game, where rupees mean so much. Um, and that wasn't sarcasm, this may have sounded a bit sarcastic, but no, rupees actually do mean a lot. And so you, you get a lot of rupees, but you also need a lot of rupees, so it's important to get as many as you can. Alright, so we got that one, we're gonna go ahead and throw this one in here, and talk to her again, and we'll get a, another 20 rupees. Mm-hmm, thank you very much. Alright, and now... We got to get, there's one more on this island. Um, of course they have to make it far away though, so it's over here. Uh, now anyway, I got kind of distracted, but if if you're not aware of the whole timeline thing I was referring to, basically what happens is that there was a semi-confirmation, I guess. I mean, it's it's official, but it's not official official, but it's, it's pretty official. Um, a timeline of all the Zelda games and how they relate because for the longest time people thought like there were there were some hints between Zelda games with connections and stuff but it was never really confirmed just because Zelda stories and settings are so different but um, back in what was it 2013 I think uh, they released the official timeline and so what happens basically is it's linear timeline until Ocarina of Time where the events of Ocarina of Time, and because there's time travel and all that, it, it splits the timeline into three different timelines. So, it starts off as linear, and when Ocarina of Time happens, then it branches off into three different paths. So this is in the path where Adult Link, not Child Link, which is a possibility, but Adult Link um, defeats Ganon and seals him away. And then, of course, he gets that means nothing because he comes back. He, uh, he gets, you know unsealed, for the lack of a better term, and destroy stuff. And so, basically the story is that the goddesses are like, oh no, he's back, we can't do that, we f flood everything, maybe it'll kill him. And so, that's what this is. So, um, actually it's kind of a spoiler. But anyway, <laughs> whatever. Point is, this is actually, um, the high parts of a flooded kingdom. Just so you know. That'll be discovered later. Um, I mean, it's not super spoiler. There are bigger spoilers in this game than that, but that's something we'll find out. Um, probably by episode pff, I don't know, six. Of course, these are long videos, so episode six is several hours in. Anyway, ah, holy big brother. Did grandma make that outfit for you? Did she? Wow, she's a good tailor. But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Link, can you Close your eyes and hold out your hand just for so Oh god, what's she gonna do? Happy birthday! Did Link- Link did not close his eyes nor hold out his hands, yet she gave it to him anyway. Well. Wow. Alright, so we got a telescope. Um, 
what the telescope does is, well, we get to see far away. Hooray. So, she wants us to try it out, so let's do that. Um, we come in here, we will assign it to Y, and now we can use a telescope. Simple as that. Um, oh, there's a little postman here. What the hell are you doing? Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the post box. Calm down. I, there we go. Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Hey, that, that, that's racist, Daryl. Your grandma taught you better. Let's go, what's up in the sky? Um, oh. That's a big bird. Sorry. And the pirate ship. Well, they're not very good at aiming, are they? That's the, that's the first thing I notice. Yep, there you go. And there she goes, off down into the forest. How sad. Oh well, too bad. <laughs> Link, this is so terrible, that girl fell into the forest, she needs help, but it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something to defend yourself with. I never got that reference. The dangerous to go alone. Basically, that's what she's saying. Anyway, um, for those who don't know, I, I need to, <laughs> I need to assume that not only like hardcore Zelda fans are watching this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that line was referencing a line from Zelda 1, where the, literally the first dialogue in the game is, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, and you get a sword. And so that's been something that's kind of referenced throughout this series. And I never realized that that was there. Um, oh, I forgot I could go first person. First person, FPS, shooter, sniper, I'ma snipe you. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay, wonderful. Alright, so what I need to do now is, well, I gotta get a sword. Um, why? I... It's, technically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to walk all the way up there and then realize, oh wait, I need a sword to cut down branches because I can't get through. But I already know this. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip ahead and I'm going to get a sword from Orca, who our grandmother said is the only, the only violent guy here. So, you know, the early, like, swordsman here. So... We should, maybe, um, talk to him. Oh, what does it matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yeah, I have. You better teach me good sword skills, man. I'm a, I'm beat you. I'm beat you with my stick. Mm-hmm. All right. Very good, okay, horizontal slice. Good, yeah, very good. So, I used to hate doing this because like it's it's so precise what you do. Like this first one, you only push B, you can't like move the control stick at all. And like, because they're technically different attacks and so that would always throw me off and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? But no, you literally have to just stand still and push B for that first one. Um, this one you gotta, this one you gotta target him and walk forward and attack. Oh! Sorry. Okay. Next is a spin attack. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Well, let's do it this way, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I was trying to do the rotate the thing. Rotate. Okay. I'm still not very good at the whole rotate. Okay. I'm. Yo. Yo. I'm sorry. Jeez. Okay. Go up, Tim. We'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. And da 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 da. All right. And oh oh. Now we got the parry. Alright, go, go, go me, yeah, go me, oh, oh, oh. that's right, mm-hmm, I, I, I know, I know how to dodge your attacks. Woo! Mm-hmm, <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, now we jump attack. Now, how this guy's not dying, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you, somehow, I doubt you'll misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it to you freely. Take the blade with you. And we get the hero sword. Wield it with B, use it wisely, carefully, da 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 da. Okay, so, be a strong, Link. 
Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So we got a sword now. So now we can go be all hero-like and save the girl who fell in the forest tree thing. Uh. <laughs> I remember my, my, my barber who cut my hair at Cool Cuts when I got to this part. Well, it's not specifically this part, actually. It's a bit further. When I went up to the forest, she'd be like, Oh, I've never seen this part before. Wow, you got far. And I'm like, mm hmm you better believe it. I, I know what I'm doing. I, I played I played this game, and I also played Star Fox Adventures there. Star Fox Adventures is a game that I didn't have. Um, but I, I played it at the Cool Cuts place. And like, um, oh, I'm forgetting the rupee, actually. I'm gonna come down here. Um, I played at the Cool Cuts place, and that was another game that I like really enjoyed. But it... If we know anything about Star Trek Adventures, you know it's weird. That's not what I wanted. Um, hold on. Is it back here? Where's the... Or is it inside? Hold on. Anyway. If you know anything about Star Trek Adventures, it's, it's, it's a very strange game. Um, there's like... Here we go. This is what I want. Because it's like Star Fox, but there's like dinosaurs. And it has actually some like elements from Zelda. Like it has basically like a Z targeting thing and, and all that. It It's just a weird game, but I, I did enjoy to play it. I loved the beginning part. It, the, the game opens where you're like riding on this pterodactyl thing and you're shooting fireballs at a uh, at this flying ship where there's this dinosaur man with with like a one like one hand is a metal claw and i'm like oh my god this is so awesome and so i would always play the beginning part because of course you know every time i get my hair cut they would start the game from the beginning um well, what else was there i remember pikmin was there and my mom was always like you should play pikmin i hear it's good and i'm like no i don't i didn't i've never been into pikmin i really haven't and um, mainly because I just didn't get it as a child. I didn't really get the point of it. Um, I mean, now I do. Uh, though I still haven't beaten a Pikmin game. I haven't even played much of any Pikmin game. I do own Pikmin 3, uh, because I got it for free when I got Mario Kart 8, I think? Yeah, when I got Mario Kart 8, I got Pikmin 3 for free, because they had this deal going, and it was actually a very good deal. Um, actually, you could have potentially gotten this game for free, but I had already bought this game. Um... But no, so Pikmin is just, it, it's, I, I get that it's good, it's just never been my thing, and I, I don't know why, I really don't. So anyway, the girl's over there, uh, wherever she is. So, over here we have our first enemy, which is a Bokoblin. Look at him, look at him looking all, I was gonna say look at him looking all snout, I don't even know if that's an adjective, but whatever. Let's just double jump attack him, and, oh. Not quite yet, then. Alright, there we go. Good job. Does he have an orb? And he just has a rupee. Alright, um, there is, however, a red rupee in here. Whoops, let's go down. Uh, nope. Okay. I don't remember what my max is. Is it 200? No, it's not 200. Maybe... My max rupee, I guess, is 500. Uh, that, I mean, until I get the wallets, of course, but... Hmm. Okay, that, that's a lot. Because typically, 100, maybe 200 is the max at the beginning of the game. But again, Wind Waker, rupees are very important. You need rupees for a lot of things. And, oh, here we go. More Bokoblins. I used to call them Bokoblins. Which uh, may actually be correct. I don't even know if Bokoblins is correct. I just call them Bokoblins. I, I assume that's correct because it's like a play on goblins, Bokoblins. I mean, I guess Baco Blooms. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, okay? And there she is. I'm gonna fall. You better fall. You better fall and hurt yourself. Do it. Do it. You want? Do it. Oh, oh! The tree did it for you. Mm hmm. Ouch! Hello. Hey, why are you chicken me out there? Wow, that's... what's that get-up? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right, that giant bird came and... Oh, Miss! Miss Tetra! This guy, I love this guy. Oh, oh, thank goodness, you're safe! When I saw you get dropped off the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me off the top of a mountain. Well, was that nice of it? Well, let's just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. 
But, but, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on. I love that guy, his name is Gonzo. Gonzo's one of my favorite pirates in this game. There are more pirates that are going to be introduced pretty soon, but he's my favorite. Hey, big brother! Errol, what are you doing up here? Why don't you just like fall off the bridge? And it's like, oh, lol, whoops, sorry. <laughs> and there she goes. Um, uh oh. Brother! By the way, I love this cutscene. Ah! ah! Stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do. Also, that bird's tails always, like, trip me out. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Mm-hmm, pretty much. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates! The terror of the seas! What do we get at bringing out some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. Oh! I know how much you... <laughs> I'm sorry. I know how you must feel with all your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And you know how you figure- and- oh, sorry. And how do you figure that? Whoa, 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 that just- who are you? Where do you get off button in someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you- if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of the time traveling amongst the many different islands, and as a result, I hear many things. Haven't you heard that the word is that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you heard it or not, it seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my ears fit, my eyes fail me... Uh, your ears. You don't really have... Oh, you do have ears. <laughs> I was like, you don't have ears. The young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why he grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this young Link who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it... May as well tell you that the bird kidnapped both you and Link's sisters made it to the foul nest in the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress, isn't that the place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give the Link a little help. No, would it? I don't need you to tell me that. Even though if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has something you could, must have something you could use as a shield, you know? Something to protect yourself with, anything. Tell you what, if you come back, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, basically what she's saying, um, she's saying, I gotta get a shield, but if I leave, we're not coming back, so don't be a little baby. Anyway, that's basically what she's saying. Um, so, we gotta get a shield, and, well, guess what? We got a shield hanging on our wall because, you know, Grandma likes that. Grandma has a shield wall fetish. <gasps> Whoa! What? Grandma! That's not- I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. What the hell you want? What is it, Link? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you and where's Errol? Calm down, Grandma. You don't know- any Oh! The shield's gone! Oh my god. What? No. What the- Oh. No, oh, she's got- I swear, she was not holding that shield a while ago. Link. Is this what you were looking for? <laughs> His face. Take it with you. You got the hero's shield! This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. It could travel. Blah, 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 blah. Nice pose, Link. I guess it is true. Errol has really been kidnapped, hasn't she? Then why were you acting so oblivious earlier? 
Anyway, what kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Link's like, um, well, I, don't, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> he says Link in most situations. He's like, I'm just gonna keep silent because I don't really have much to say. So anyway, we got a shield, and that's pretty much everything we can do on the island now. Now, again, if you're following along or using this as a walkthrough, all you can really get up to this point are just the rupees. Um, I got 222 rupees. I mean, obviously there are other miscellaneous small rupee bits you can get around, but you can definitely get at least 200 rupees um, before you head off. So that's a good thing to get, um, because, in fact, one of the things I actually want to get before we head off is over here. Let me my guy real quick. Sorry, hold on. Oh no! My battery's dying! I'll be back. I'm back, sorry. <laughs> I was very close. My computer was at 2%, and I did not want it to like, freaking like, destroy all the things I've done today. Anyway, Link, what are you doing? He's like, oh, blah, 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 Sorry. Okay, we gotta come in here. This is the Beetle Shop Ship. See that guy on the side? That's Beetle. He's my favorite. Okay. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. I deal with pretty much everything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I pay top rubies for junk. Oh, do you want just something else you would like to buy? All right, thank you, sorry. Uh, so we got, uh, what we want to do is we want to get a bait bag. So I got a bait bag. Um, very nice. Now, you're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I love you. I'm going to make your members card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Sometimes very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop would do this sort of thing for you. I have you know. Now you have one point. You should try to save 30 points so you can earn civil membership. Oh, just use this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, we want two of these. Mm-hmm. All-purpose bait. Um, now, I'm not gonna really explain what these do now. Um, oh my god, calm down. Um, but we will be using these very soon. Um, it, again, if you're following along, I would strongly suggest getting these if you're trying to at least get some progress. Um, this, this, uh, Hyoi pair, you could get one, I mean, you, you could get more than one. I'm just gonna get one, well, you know what, why not? Let's get one more. Yeah, thank you, Tingle. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Beetle, not Tingle, sorry. <laughs> Wrong character. Uh, now I have five points. You try to see have 30 points, they can earn civil membership. Okay. Bye, come again. See you later, I love you very much. You love me too? Yeah, no. Okay. So there we go, so we got some stuff there. Um, that'll, that's a good start to our adventure. And now we've done pretty much everything we can do here, so let's head off. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Aren't you gonna like, get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, let's go. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready, girl. Sorry. <laughs> go. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Good luck, Clink! I like the booger kid there. He's my favorite. Good luck finding Errol! Take care of yourself! Oh, what? Oh, it's Grandma! Grandma, no, you didn't, She she's so old she couldn't even leave her house to join the rest of the people. Oh, that's so sad. Grandma's probably gonna like die of old age while I'm gone, oh no. Uh, uh, how much longer is this gonna go on, you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just you know, turn around and take you back to your island? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was so close. 
I even moved a bit after the sound, so I'm surprised you didn't get me. Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that one scared me.